Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Alan Partridge. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Really enjoyed the last episode, man, when Alan stepped on that spike and then still tried to do a speech and stuff. It was like throwing up. <laughs> that was great, man. Uh, and when Michael made that H for him for like a helicopter pad to like cheer him up and he just started talking shit about it, like how, how he'll be embarrassed of it of like aliens and stuff saw it. Uh, that was great. Just a good episode, man. Everything Alan does is goofy and funny and I'm so glad Michael was in the season too. I think I said that before already. Because he's, he's a good character. I like him. I like their interactions. I think they're, like, good. Um, one of my favorite Michael moments was when, like, when they first met, and he couldn't understand what he was saying. And my other one is when, like, they showed the security camera footage at the end. And, like, they're trying to steal that cone. And as soon as the cops showed up, Michael just zoomed. <laughs> just left everybody. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, God, that was so good. So, yeah, man, let's just get to go ahead and jump into this one, man. We'll talk about it more in the end. I'm afraid to say it's time for us to hand over to our old friend, Alan Partridge. He's here with Norfolk Knights. Are you ready, Alan? Yes, good night. <laughs> good night, Alan. Good night. Then there's big sisters there. Tonight we're talking about death. How would you like to be disposed of when you're dead? We're taking letters and emails on that tonight, uh, starting with a, a letter from Mike, who's 24. He'd like to be buried in a large satin lined coffin with a couple of pates, three stunners. Uh, they're alive, he says. I'm not reading that. Huh? Um, well, another letter here from Susan from Spixworth. Uh, she said she'd like her ashes to be scattered in a nice field or meadow. That's the kind of thing we want. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're also taking emails uh, on the big question, what happens after we die? Just relax. There's a foamy bit on your shoulder. Let's make it more frothy with a squirt of light lemon liquid. Don't you feel good? This is weird. Don't fall asleep and slip under. Some terrible statistics about that. <laughs> uh, let's just finish your neck off now with some final suds. Mmm. <laughs> Alan's Deep Bar. Brought to you by Dettol. And it's fictional nightclub. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, better being in a fictional nightclub than uh, in a fictional bath, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, better than having fictional listeners, Dave. <laughs> uh, it's bad enough sitting on your own in a real nightclub, cool, which I've seen you do, but uh, sitting on your own in a fictional one has got to be the worth of both worlds. Sorry, Alan. Uh, uh, don't you mean the worst of both worlds? Uh, no, 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 I do mean the worth of both worlds, <laughs> i.e. in the world of boasters, not the biscuits, but people who boast, like you, your, their worth is worth, you know. Okay, here's uh, Matt Bianco. <laughs> Watch that. Chat there, parts on the... are quite intelligent, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> jump through a hoop and catch a fish in my mouth. You buggers. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you do this? What's that? There's, there's, there's a dolphin chatting. <laughs> Oh, I can do a wheel. Ooh! No, no, that, no, that, 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 that's a homosexual. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, it's a fascinating subject, reincarnation. Yeah, so. I always wonder what Lynn would come back as. <laughs> a badger. I've always seen her as a, as a badger. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine her coming out of a hole, sniffing the air. <laughs> you can smack a heat with a shovel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do that, Michael. You know, even if she was straight a to violence. You've got to control them, man. You know, they've, they've got TB. Yeah, but so had the Bronte sisters. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't hit them over there with a the shovel, no matter how bad the books were. Are you wearing links? Well, smelt. Voodoo. Java. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alan Partridge. Stan Mooney. So amazing. <laughs> I wear Tommy Hilfinger. Oh, no. It, it, it's Hilfiger. No, it says Hilfinger on the bottle. <laughs> Did you buy it down the market? I. Uh, that's it's amazing this Lexus Knock connection. Yeah. Next you'll be telling me you drink director's bitter. I've got it coming out of my taps. Have you? I'm joking. Great. <laughs> and uh, we both drink director's bitter. It's like the X Files, but but but, but a pleasant X Files. <laughs> the Lex Files. God, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card. <laughs> oh, you combine the card with the handshake. Yeah. God, that's good. I used to do that, but I uh, kept getting it wrong. Gave a paper cut to a man from Nestle. <laughs> You're looking for a kitchen, I can get you a kitchen, let's talk. Fancy a Flav? Flavia, good call. King of coffee. Oh, in off the red. How <laughs> <laughs> do you take it? Unleaded. Oh, no. What does that mean? I don't know. 
<laughs> well, we've got a lot in common. We should go for a proper drink. I mean, That's a fucking you, weird. you provide quality kitchens and I provide quality radio. And I'll work in a petrol station. <laughs> yeah, but it's just me and Dan that's going for the drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine. I'll just get hammered on my own. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll walk you to your Lexus. Right. So, so, yeah, that was classic intercourse. <laughs> um, so, uh, Look at his stand so up. thanks. <laughs> OK, let's just uh, pop the extractor panel on, get a through draft going. Alan, do you want an egg in the bath? Yes, please. <laughs> Here comes your egg in the bath. Oh, oh, great. Mmm, yum, yum. Oh, oh it's plastic. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, I'll look back on that as, a, as an excellent practical joke. Yeah. Presume there's some sort of whoopee cushion in here somewhere? Yes. Look forward to that, taking me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we went for a curry, and when we were about to leave, the heavens just opened, and we were stuck in the foyer. And we were just pointing at the rain, saying, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. <laughs> a terrible story. Lynn, has your mother's death just hit you? <laughs> No, we were stuck in the foyer. Well, hang on, who's we? Me and my friend from church. And what's her name? It's a he. Right, then, sit down. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'd be delighted. Well, you, you've got to put a bit back. No, please! No! No! Oh. Oh, no, 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 you know, oh, uh, you know who's going to be at the Norfolk Bravery? <laughs> who? It reads like a who's who of anyone who's anyone who's in the Norfolk area. No, please. Do you want me to come out? Uh, no, thanks, Lynn. Uh, Sonny and I'll be fine. You and Gordon can go and laugh at Drizzle. <laughs> Tonight I will try out some of my jokes and make brave people laugh again. <laughs> Do you need me to be? Just keep her away from the dignitaries. Oh, uh, look. You're taking a man to the party. <laughs> Guess it's offer. <laughs> oh, look, look, Sonia. Ellen! Hold on, then. That was textbook. <laughs> That's Dan. Dan! 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 Do you stop? <laughs> Dan! 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 Uh, uh, nah, he's not seeing me. I'll get him later. <laughs> um, would you like to meet Karen Coleman? Well, yes, I okay, don't really know. Uh, room for a brave one. Beep, beep. Come on, mate, we're on wheels here. <laughs> um, excuse me, Mustard. I mean, uh, Karen. <laughs> Karen, um, uh, this, this lady would, would, would love, love to meet you. Hi, I'm Patricia Lessing. Oh, Karen Coleman. Nice, nice to of meet you to you. come. Yeah. Hello there. Well, I hope you're being yeah. looked after. Oh, do you yeah. want to meet Bob? He owns a garden centre. <laughs> yeah. She's an amazing He's woman. He's so amazing, <laughs> amazing woman. Yeah. My grandfather was in a wheelchair. Really? Oh. Was he born in a wheelchair? <laughs> I'm not sure what I meant by that. Yeah, Would you be brave enough to let me finish my conversation? I just wanted to talk about my yeah, project. Yeah, l l listen, love, it's just a meet and greet. Come cool. on, come on, you can push your way to the front of the buffet queue. It's not all doom and gloom. <laughs> Where's she gone? It's she so bogus. Um, now, as a master dance. <laughs> If you, if you like. Shit. What's your view on the new kids on the block? I mean, things like uh, Tabasco sauce and uh, soy. <laughs> oh, I'll shoot you then. Bang. Oh, I'm wearing a bulletproof blazer. Well, I'll go for a headshot. I'm Bang. a Terminator. You uh, can't kill me. Right, I've got your kids. I've, I've got your kids, Dan. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, going to quickly. Well, Jet on the internet. Get your kids. And then he went back to his first wife. Oh, well, loads of women talking blabbering crap. <laughs> Look, I am brave. My eye is yeah. falling out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this will make you laugh. This is, uh, you, you say too much mustard gets up your nose. Nonsense. <laughs> oh. Sonia, 
a telephone number. There's someone you should talk to. <laughs> I'm fine. I just need some, just need some water. Bye, Alan. I won't kiss you. Goodbye. I'll kiss you. Michael. Michael. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Someone knock the dog in. Oh, it's Pottage. Hello, oh. Michael. Oh, uh, I, I can't sell you any petrol. No, no, I just. <laughs> Passing, I just thought I'd done. Oh, what have you been up to? Uh, we were trying to outdance a computer. Impossible. <laughs> and then I fought some zombies with a boy in care. <laughs> Wipe the floor with him. Yeah. Your, your hand is about 30 mil from my gland. <laughs> and uh, if I was dressed on the other side, it, it would be in contact. Your little finger just touched it. <laughs> oh, just, 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 just pop that there. Oh, the shit. Oh, good. This is the one for you. Nice. Fudge up. What, that way? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I've got wood there. No, that's MDF. Oh, I see you're making a joke. <laughs> MDF's banned in America. So's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, all done. I've got, I've just remembered my dad is still dead. Uh, so, uh, he's dead. Uh, oh, that was quick. Take a seat. Sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. Oh, this is a comfy sofa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ole, I'll get the drinks. Ah. See where the drink is. Oh, shit. We're well, of sex people. What do you mean? They're sex swappers. Oh. Lynn, this is DEFCON 1. Look. Look. Oh. Don't make the same noise as them. <laughs> Don't think you want to join in. I'll pause it. Oh, I'll it fast forward. Looks like a sort of hardcore Benny Hill. <laughs> oh, no, come on, pack it in, mate. I don't want to have sex with your wife. I mean, even though from the promotional video, I can see that I, I, I would have a, a ruddy good time. <laughs> a little hug. A quick one. Right Don't rub time. your fanny on me. <laughs> Look forward to listening to your deep bath later, oh, Alan. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, to Spalding, all the issues. Uh. It's 11.30, <laughs> time for my deep bath. Oh, um, shit. Deep bath. Uh, there's a big coarse towel on the radiator. Uh, don't forget to rinse the bath. Once you've drained the water, use the shower nozzle to blast off the scum. Here's Brian and Mike. Painted Salford small kitchen. Yeah, that was really good, man. Now, the whole the sex part, I, I watched a clip on YouTube like a while ago. I don't remember how long ago it was. And it was just funny just because it was just weird, like a, set, a couple trying to get somebody to, like, you know, have a threesome, whatever, with them. But, like, now that I know, like, Lynn's personality, Alan's personality, the story leading up to it, it was so much funnier, man. It was so much funnier and so much better. I actually forgot most of what happened, like, with her, like, touching his junk and everything he said. I just, only thing I remember was, like, it was a sex couple trying to get him to have sex. That's all I remember from watching it, but, like, like I said, knowing the characters and all that kind of stuff just made it so much better. That was so fantastic. That was funny. This, this episode was really good. Uh, and it's so crazy, like, yeah, that shows how much I remember about, about it because that guy didn't look familiar at all when he met him or anything, so it's cool, like, him come across a guy who's, like, like, exactly like him, you know what I mean? And, like, how he started getting irritated by the guy who's, like, like him when he was trying to, like, have a conversation with the mustard lady. So I, I think it gave him a glimpse of how people feel when they're around him. Like, he can be a little bit too much, you know? Uh, but this is good, man. This is a really good, funny episode. I was surprised Michael didn't let him in. You know? Because I thought he kind of liked the hangout with Alan a bit. So, unless he's just ashamed of his place, maybe. That could be the case. He could just be ashamed of his place or what have you. Uh, Lynn's boring story about, like, hanging out in the rain. <laughs> You're laughing at rain, Lynn. Uh... Yeah, this is a good episode, man. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, somebody else told me this is one of their favorite episodes. Somebody in the comments said this is one of their favorite episodes. I see why, man. It was really good. And that's, that's again, the shows like when people say if I watch a clip, it's going to ruin like the show and episode for me. That clip didn't ruin the episode for me. I barely remembered it. Only that I remember was like a sex couple. You know, that's all I remember about the clip was like, it started to look familiar after she touched his junk. Like, you know what I did? I saw this clip. Him like trying to avoid having sex with a couple. But that's all I remember. It was like this creepy couple. So... It didn't ruin anything for me. I actually, Santa just made it 
it was like seeing it for the first time, you know, with all like the knowing the characters and everything and the story leading up to it. So it's good, man. That's funny. I want to keep saying that over and over again. But yeah, Android's episode, man. I thought it was fantastic. A lot of good stuff. All right, guys, man. That is it. That is all for this one, man. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.